Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Friday. This is your holiday edge. So right now it's five o'clock in Arizona, which means it's seven o'clock on the East Coast. And if you don't get this till if you don't get to do this till Saturday, that's perfect. The other thing I want you to do is challenge yourself on Saturday, if you have time, is to put all of the workouts that we've done so far, put them in a row, do all twelve minutes, and it'll be amazing for you. Today's um, max 30 move of the day is rope climb. We're going to do it for one minute and the last two moves are going to be to focus on just getting extra core work because today is all on the core, all on the floor, all about the core. Danielle's modifying, just look to your right on the screen and she's going to do that. So here we go. Three, two, feet flat on the ground. You got a rope in front of you. One, two, three, and act like you slide down the rope and you round your back as you go. One, two, three, four. Notice that my head is a neutral spine. My chin is not here to my chest. I'm connecting. I'm disconnecting the fist width away. One, two, three, four. Slide down. Once you get the rhythm of it, you come up. One vertebrae at a time. Keep the heels flat on the ground and just come up. Two, three, four times and you slide down. Control. Okay, make sure you get up there and really use the control. Engage the core. Don't just let the pain come automatically or when it wants to, you control it. Think about this. The faster the burn gets there, the faster the results are starting to happen. Same thing that's going to happen in max 30. The faster you max out, the faster you're going to get results. So don't think that you have to make it to full 30 minutes with this program. Okay, just make sure that you know that you just do the best you can do, as hard as you can do, with as much focus as you can do. Now the next move we're going to do, one crunch, out, in. One crunch. This isn't in max 30, this is just something to enhance your core. One crunch, and out, in. Up, down, out, in. In. Notice I'm not lifting my head like this, okay? The head behind me is just to support your neck. Some of you guys ask, Sean T, my neck starts to hurt when I do abs or when I'm in these positions. This is just to protect it. You push again, that lower belly button into the floor, and you reach, and you go. 15 more seconds. Do it at your own pace. Again, Daniel's modifying it, and you come in, and up, and down. You get toward the end, and you're barely able to come off the ground, but you really want to stay focused and push it through. Last exercise. Very simple, very easy. Your head is going to stay down. You're still going to press your lower back into the floor. You just come up and tap down. It's just like kind of like you're doing a little tough jump, but you're staying. Everything is down, but the thing that's going to make this work is keeping your knees at 90 degrees. When your knees come up, you're pressing your lower back into the ground. It's work, you're gonna feel it. It's gonna burn like you cannot believe, but do the best that you can do. Keep working. All right, guys, we're getting up toward the end of this. You got about, oh, let's see, um, 25 seconds left. Remember, when you finish, hashtag ST Holiday Edge, so that I can see that you've done this. You guys have been doing a great job so far this week, posting your pictures, and I love seeing it. More than anything, I'm not seeing a smile, but you keep digging deep and you keep going. We're almost there. Don't stop. You got five more seconds. And four, three, two, one. Hey guys, just remember, do the best you can do. Three minutes a day can make an absolute difference in your fitness routine. Keep digging deep. Me and Danielle, we got you. Peace out.